Let's talk about the future of the U.S. dollar. Let's also talk about BRICS and what they have done to potentially hurt the U.S. dollar or weaken the U.S. dollar might be the better word. We're going to talk about all of that and how it relates to crypto as well. Many of you guys come to the channel for crypto news. Don't worry, there are crypto elements here because it seems as if there are obviously new technological advancements that are taking this world by storm. And there are people making chess moves, political power moves right now to get in line and be ready for when these new technologies like blockchain, like AI, start to really thoroughly shape our world. They're already here, but they're only going to get bigger. So in this video, I want to talk about BRICS a little bit, talk about the U.S. dollar, uh, what a former Treasury Secretary predicts the future of the U.S. dollar will be. All of that in this video. So make sure you guys stick around to the end. Also, right now, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely helps us out. So the BRICS alliance right now, guys, is challenging the U.S. dollar's global reserve status by putting their local currency forward for global trade. So BRICS. They want to suffocate the U.S. dollar by ending dependency on it and promoting a local currency for cross-border transactions. This is fascinating because the future of cross-border transactions could be running through Ripple and other top blockchain companies. Ripple, uh, Ripple Labs, massive in other parts of the world, still not a lot of clarity in the United States. But the U.S. dollar remains under tremendous pressure right now as oil-producing countries have now joined the BRICS team, if you will. New members include Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt, Iran, and Ethiopia, who all export millions of barrels of oil around the world. Argentina is the only new member that is not an oil-producing nation. But you can make the argument we're moving away from oil anyway. I mean, look what Saudi Arabia is doing uh, building the line, that crazy city. Uh, we're going green, right? And it's probably time to diversify away from oil a little bit in a lot of these countries. But still, BRICS is a force to be reckoned with. And an analyst uh, recently talked about where the U.S. dollar is and where it could be going. So I want to take you inside this. Check this out. Uh, right here, former U.S. Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, right here, uh, right above me, predicted that the U.S. dollar would remain the de facto global currency for the long term, even through all of this. Still bullish. He stressed that he does not see the possibility of the U.S. dollar changing its position as the reserve currency. And here's the quote. If you look at the U.S. share of global GDP, it's really very high by historical standards right now. He said to the Financial Express, Summers expressed that every generation in America experiences a better economy, purchasing power, and lifestyle, among others, than their predecessors. But does history always repeat itself? Are we getting too naive to the fact that BRICS could be an actual threat to the U.S. dollar. And what about crypto as a threat? In some aspect, right? Especially with companies that are choosing and electing to move and build outside the U.S., right? So there's something to be said for that, uh, but that's one opinion. He goes on to say the last generation, if you look at what in some others uh, some ways is a better, more forward-thinking indicator. Here it is. The share of the United States in total global stock markets is higher than it's been in a long time. So I look at those things and I see an American economy that I think, for better or worse, is likely to be fairly central to the global economy, he said. And I don't disagree with this. He stressed the U.S. dollar will eventually take care of itself when the American economy further booms and adds. So I think if we were, if we keep the fundamentals of what we're doing reasonably strong, 
and do things right, the dollar will likely take care of itself. BRICS currencies are also facing the heat this month as the U.S. dollar is printing new highs. The dollar is also rising against gold, giving BRICS the jitters as the block is the top buyer of the precious metal this year. Interesting. What about Bitcoin? U.S. owns uh, a lot of Bitcoin, too. They're the fourth largest holder of Bitcoin. Uh, but uh, will the BRICS nations start buying Bitcoin? There's a lot of powers at B here. A lot of power plays happening. I mean, you've got BRICS versus the U.S. dollar. You've got this crypto revolution. You've got AI. You've got tech. And just there's a lot happening all at once, right? It's hard to kind of parse things out. But if I'm making sense of this, I think it makes sense for BRICS to be doing what they're doing. It doesn't necessarily mean the dollar is dead. I think fiat currency is dead more than the dollar. Thoroughly. I I truly believe that. So I don't think the U.S. dollar is in any worse shape than any other currency right now. I just think fiat currency in general is on its way out. But the U.S. dollar still remains very strong in this environment. Given where we are, especially coming out of a worldwide pandemic and coming into the world of inflation and in a lot of places, recession. The U.S. dollar is still pretty strong when you factor all that in. So with that being said, uh, hopefully this video finds you well. Hopefully, it gives you some insight, gives you some things to think about as uh, the BRICS nations, yes, are looking to make a play, are looking to get stronger, and they will. But the U.S. dollar still, in the eyes of many, including myself, has a really, really great opportunity to remain the strongest fiat currency out there. And the former Treasury Secretary uh, is right. The U.S. economy does have a great opportunity to rebound stronger and be better than ever. It can still happen. But we've got to really focus on bringing innovation here. Blockchain is one of those. AI, that's the future. That's the next thing. The largest internet companies in the world based out of the U.S. Will that be the same? for AI and blockchain. That's where we're heading, right? So we shall see. And listen, I think everybody knows it. That's where we're heading. And it's a gold rush right now. It's a race. It's a race to see who can get the most market share. BRICS knows it. The U.S. knows it. Everybody knows it. So we'll see how this all plays out. No matter what, I'll be investing in crypto. I'll be investing in Bitcoin. I'll still be investing in stocks and the top 500 companies in the world, no doubt about it, keeping a well-balanced, diversified portfolio. But the future is digital in every aspect. So appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.